Welcome back. In this chapter, we'll look at creative production. So when planning our campaigns in the campaign planning board, we will need creative assets designed. Since creative teams are usually separate to those planning the campaigns, it's crucial that making creative requests and tracking them is seamless for both the requester and the team members. In this board, we have a few different groups, incoming requests and progress requests and completed requests. And let's quickly go over the columns again. The person column shows the owner um, as we're used to, so we know who's responsible for working on the request. Next, we have the status column showing the priority and the person who made the request can choose that. Then we have a status column to show the actual status of the request, which we choose. We have a date column to show the due date for the completion of the request, a text column for a short creative brief, and finally a files column for any assets relevant to the creative request. So let's begin by how to even make a request. Using Monday Forms, which are a different board view, we can streamline all creative requests from different departments, teams, or clients into one board. So let's deep dive now and take a look at how this board transforms into this form. As you can see, each column is visible as a question in the form. We could choose to make certain questions required and hide those columns uh, that we don't want the requester to fill in. So I'm going to make this one required. I don't want um, people to fill out the status. That's something I'm going to fill out. So I'm going to click hide question. Awesome. Once we're happy with the form, we could share it with people by URL or embed it somewhere so that people can easily fill it out on their website. So let's go ahead and add in some information and test it out. So my creative request is going to be um, purple social media posts, as you could tell by the background of this, of this form. That's my favorite color. I'm going to make it due tomorrow. The creative brief is purple for everyone. And I can write anything else I need to know here. I'm going to submit. I'll get this thank you message showing me my uh, request was put in successfully. And then I expect to see it appear as a new item on my board. And it does. Awesome. I'm going to make it high priority. Uh, great. So it's important that when a new request is added, the relevant people are alerted so that we have, um, so for that, we've added an automation which will notify board subscribers for every new request. You can see, um, I just got this, uh, this notification uh, telling me what was requested. And the reason I got that was because I set up uh, this automation. When an item is created, notify every board subscriber. And I filled out what I wanted to show up, uh, that a new request has been made and the priority of the request. Awesome. Uh, the designer, which in this case, or the owner, which in this case is me, uh, can then get to work on the request. So two awesome features, which are unique to Monday, uh, are the option to collaborate on the board using annotations here, updates, uh, and to always keep track of changes using versioning. The requester or designer can add comments to the asset, and I'll show you how now, and discuss changes until they're happy. So for example, maybe I want this part, since I like everything purple, I'm gonna say, this should be purple. What do you all think? Then I'll add it as a comment here, and I could track all the comments on the side under updates. So let's say that the designer got this feedback and will make the change to the color because purple is awesome, but does not want to replace the previous version, so this original version, in case the requester changes their mind. So that, for that, we'll create a new version of the asset by clicking add version. We can always revert to the previous version, and we're also able to delete old versions if we do decide they are no longer relevant. Great, so now that we've reviewed annotation and versioning, let's look at some other ways we can uh, work with this board. We can use the board filter to create different versions of this table view uh, and save them as new views so that we can immediately access drilled down and relevant information. So say I only want to see the high priority requests uh, at any given time. I'm going to save that as a new view and call it high priority request. Or I might decide to go back um, and filter by another column, maybe my tasks. So I would filter by myself uh, and save that as a separate view. 
We also might want to work for more visual or assets first view using the cards view. I'm going to show you that here and we'll go over it more shortly. Uh, but this will show us any files that are attached right at the top and I'll get a nice overview of what we have set up. Alternatively, the Kanban view uh, will allow us to work in the Kanban methodology, meaning the requests will sit in cards, these blocks, uh, which represent each status. When an asset is ready, uh, we will set it to pending review right here, and it'll automatically uh, be transferred there, and inf it'll inform the requester or owner of the request to get that final approval. Great, that is creative processes, and I look forward to seeing you in chapter six.